Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and in this episode I want to share a story with you about a power bank, namely this one here. It's a Ruipu 24,000 milliampere power bank with three USB outputs and a solar panel. So this is, I'm sharing this with you because I remember buying this in September 2017. So that's about a year, a little bit longer than a year from when I'm actually recording this video. And I bought it back then in preparation for Hurricane Irma. So we had, we live in Miami Beach at the southern tip of Florida in the US. And every year we have about three to four months where we're being told, hey, you should really prepare yourself for the imminent catastrophe because we can never predict if and when a hurricane will hit your area and last year it was particularly dramatic because first of all i was getting cancer treatment i had just uh, we had just discovered immunotherapy that worked for me and i was on the way to feeling better just when this hurricane came to kind of came crashing down on us or the threat of the hurricane came crashing down on us and so i wasn't eating at the time i was still getting cancer treatment my gi tract was completely screwed up and i was getting artificial nutrition through my pores in my shoulder here and so I wasn't eating but these deliveries kind of were kind of the make or break of was I gonna you know get through this and what would happen if a catastrophe would hit Miami Beach so in light of all this, I was thinking, you know what, we need more power banks like this. And uh, my wife and I, we had a couple and we have an emergency little NOAA weather radio, which has an integrated solar panel. And I thought, you know what, it would be really cool if we had that functionality in a power bank, because even though you may not be able to use your mobile phone, whatever we are using will use up electricity. And without electricity, which is very likely scenario to happen in a hurricane, um, that that may be that may be disastrous. So just to ease the pain a little bit, electricity and having lots of it stored somewhere is a great idea. So I bought this one, the Ruipu 24,000 milliamp USB power bank, and I was extremely happy with it. It got us through the hurricane, and it was I've since then found so many other uses of of using it around the house. So for example this thing stores so much electricity that when I'm making these screencasts I'm using a GoPro camera and that is very very power hungry but I'm running out of sockets here around my desk so it is really cool to just plug that into here and uh, have the GoPro run on an external battery. Now there's some, some drawbacks with this so one of the things is uh, weight of course so uh, this this thing has I believe um, at least six or eight cells inside this thing and it's about the size of an iPhone 8 plus so the large iPhones anything with a five inch iPhone that's about the size of that it weighs over a pound or just about a pound I think 500 grams about a pound um, and it's about three times as thick as an iPhone so it's about three iPhones iPhone large plus sizes together and uh, yeah about the same size so that's one thing to take into consideration it lasts forever but it may not be as portable as you want this thing to be so for something for the pocket that you carry around with you all the time this may not be your product but if weight and size isn't a consideration this is phenomenal so I can leave that here on my desk and whenever I do a screencast I power my, my GoPro from here and if I don't use it for a few days, it just it's just here with this side up and it kind of charges itself up a little bit. So one of the things about a high capacity battery is that it is so large that you don't need to charge it up that often. But if in the meantime, this thing kind of gradually charges itself up, then, you know, that's fantastic. So I've, I wrote the review on Amazon and I thought, hey, that's all cool. I'm going to kind of, you know, move on and um, all of a sudden I realized that that review had been removed. So Amazon have removed all the reviews from the product and it appears that a new product has been created and, and this is it here. So this is the product on amazon.com and uh, it's available in red and yellow and I've decided to buy another one. So now I've got a red one and a yellow one because I really like this thing so much. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's nice to have another one in the house for things. So on the bottom of the page, you can see my review here, which has received several helpful votes already. So uh, there we go. And uh, this time I'm going to put it on my website as well, because I've, I, a lot of time goes into researching these things here and they're lengthy reviews that I write. And um, it's because I really 
stand behind these products and I find it very disconcerting that if they disappear from Amazon all of a sudden, that's just, you know, then I don't have a copy of them. So from now on, I'm going to make sure I'm going to put these on my website as well. So these are not advertisements. You know, one of my subscribers was really angry with me when I compared two microphones together. And this is not meant to be an advertising. This is me sharing an experience that I've had with technology that I paid for. So there we go. That's what this is all about. So I want to show you how this thing works. If you're interested in it on my on the previous product, there were some some questions about how does this thing actually work because it appears to be a little bit complicated. Let me tell you. So by default, this thing is in charging mode so it charges itself up you can see that by these uh, four little led lights here currently only the last one is flashing and that means it's more than 75 percent full if you have one steady light and the other three are flashing kind of gradually charging up like you you know from mobile phones then that means this unit is uh, less charged and you know it's currently charging and charging mode that by which i mean uh, the thing charges up its internal battery so right now it uses the the light the ambient light to do that but you can also of course use a micro usb input that's on the side of the unit so any micro usb uh, cable fits in there's one that comes in the box and not a long one but you know there is one in there so that's cool on the front of the unit we have three usb outputs among two little LED lights on the on the sides here. And so the way this works is if you have something like a gadget like my um, iPod Touch, for example, and a little mini charging cable here, that does not come in the box, by the way, you can plug that into any of these ports. And as soon as you plug in the gadget you want to charge up, nothing appears to happen. Well, sometimes. Uh, sometimes it does, so like in this demonstration. So I don't really know what that's governed by, but uh, sometimes units start charging up automatically. Sometimes they do not. So you can see that little charging icon in the top uh, right corner of the iPod Touch, you know. But, uh, you know, that doesn't always happen. So again, I don't know. I don't really know why, but uh, should should you plug a gadget in and it's not charging itself uh, itself up, then that's because the unit hasn't switched over from itself charging mode to decharging mode so decharging means this thing is charging up something else whereas charging mode means this thing is charging itself up and it can't do both things at the same time it can only do one thing at a time so if you plug in the micro usb cable into here then a human has to make a decision as to what this thing is supposed to do charge itself up or charge something else up so um, that's what this little button is for on the other side here if you press it once whoops there we go sorry this is the little button if you press it once then uh, the repo is going to start charging up another unit so if you press that button that basically toggles between it the unit charging something and not charging something see that little battery icon here now the repo is not charging my ipod but when i press the button then the ipod springs into action and is being charged whereas when i press that button again the Ruipu no longer charges whatever's attached to it. And that's how this works. So this is kind of a toggle between charge something that's attached here and charge up yourself. That's how that works. Whoops, there. Oh, I just took a picture with my iPod of like nothing, but it's one of those things. So that's how this works in, in a nutshell. And uh, this button has a dual functionality. So if you press it twice in short succession, then these LED lights go on. Let me show you. There we go. Ha -ha. So it's not only a cool emergency light, it's also really cool to have it and, and uh, have a look underneath your desk and see wh where that pen is or that tiny little memory card that you've just dropped. And then if you press it twice again, then the light goes off again. The light works even if you're charging something else up. So that's kind of good to know if you're charging up a gadget and then you also need a torch for some reason, then you can, you know, switch it on and switch it off again. This unit is powerful, so not only does it have a lot of juice itself, 24,000 milliampères, that is the equivalent of about 14 regular iPhone batteries. Think that out. It's also the equivalent of about 10 
plus size iPhone batteries. That's that much. So uh, if you think about it, that it doesn't mean that you can charge up your iPhone about 10 times or something. You'll be probably a little bit less because the this thing decharging and the iPhone battery charging up, there'll be a little bit of energy loss of about, I, I really don't have a percentage here, but it'll be in the region of between 20 and 50% of energy loss. But that still means that you should get a good eight full charges for your iPhone out of this, or you can leave your iPhone plugged into this and then basically have it running for, I don't know, two weeks or something. And that's very cool. And that's without having to recharge the repo either. So that's very cool. Speaking of power, it takes about uh, five to six hours to charge this thing up when it's empty with a five volt power charger that I'm using. It's it's a little box that, that has five or six USB outputs, um, five amps each, I think, and you can then charge up several items at the same time and that, that delivers quite a high amount of power and it takes about five to six hours to charge up the Rupu completely. Once it's charged, then of course you only need to top up charge or you can use you can try and use the solar light to uh, to provide a top up charge there. This thing seemingly lasts forever. I hardly ever have to plug these things in to charge them up. So it's, it's very cool to have these handy, even if you just charge them up and then put them in a drawer. I mean, they will eventually decharge themselves. Um, so, you know, make sure they're not in a drawer. They're just kind of out in the light somewhere to constantly top themselves up so that you always have one ready to go if you need it. I mean, how many times have I been in a situation where I was thinking, oh, we're going on a spontaneous trip and ah, none of our devices are charged up. No Kindle, no nothing. Thing. what are you going to do well pick up one of these put it together with your kindle in a bag and then just let the, the, the stuff charge up itself while you're on your way to wherever you're going so you know very cool very cool idea to do the three usb ports have different properties so two of them are uh, two amperes and one of them is one ampere here this one is the one that's got one ampere and these two have two amperes the implication of that is if you have fast charging capable devices you want to charge then this thing will take care of it so the ones that are labeled two amperes so these two they can whoops uh, are they uh, yeah, about these two they are able to fast charge devices so i believe with the iphone six fast charging was introduced and that means if there is more juice available from the charger then the device that's fast charging capable can charge itself up twice as fast it'll basically take twice the amount of electrons from the battery and, and use it to uh, charge itself up twice as much it doesn't mean that there's more voltage coming out it also doesn't mean that if a regular device that is not fast charging capable is being plugged into any of these ports it'll break that's not how it works it's just that that device just won't be able to take advantage of the additional ampere that's coming out so that that device will still charge itself up at 0.5 or 1 amperes whereas fast charging capable devices will do that at twice the amount and that's what this thing can do as well very cool my wife has just got an Acer Chromebook from work. And uh, at first we were a little bit, oh, what's what we're we gonna do with a Chromebook? But it turns out you can charge it with USB-C. And this thing is powerful enough to charge her Chromebook. So that's phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost heavier than the whole Chromebook. And uh, therefore it can provide almost the amount of power that the Chromebook's internal battery has there by itself it's phenomenal it's it's great to have portable power charging up a laptop it's, it's a beautiful world we live in i tell you now in america in the us this device is available from amazon.com from a seller called ruipu like this ruipu and in other parts of the world this exact same design is being sold by other manufacturers so I, I don't i don't really know how it works if the manufacturer is the same and they just brand this differently i guess so so the same design is available from other people sometimes in other colors so i guess i have the yellow and the red one which is cool but when i spoke to my friend oliver in germany about this and how cool it is to have a solar panel he was saying well but i can't get that in germany can i and i said no no actually let me have a look and if you just look for power bank 24000 on other websites you will probably find find the similar design maybe just by other sellers so this is on amazon germany now they have one by a company called oliber and i remember looking at that for my original amazon review because i was 
concerned about, well, concerned about, I had a question about how effective is the solar panel and how, how effective, how, what, what is the likely scenario that I can actually charge this thing up with the solar panel. So I went looking and I recommended this very product, in fact, to him from Oliver. And uh, at the very bottom here, there's always these, this section where um, questions are answered either by the community or by the sellers. And uh, one, of, one customer here in Germany was asking, can I use this power bank? can this power bank be charged up via the solar panel and the seller was saying something along the lines of well it does work but it works very slowly and so it's only for emergency use whereas a customer Simon on the 17th of August 2017 said well not really so he was of the opinion that that's not really happening and he gave the maths as well and I thought that was kind of interesting let me translate this for you so he's he reckons that if you count these out these are 20 panels at a size of 0.8 by two and a half centimeters which is roughly or which is exactly 0.004 square meters it's all you know metric in Europe so if you had full sunlight, the solar panels would give you about 8%, which means that according to his maths, 80 watts per square meter times 0.04 square meters, so the size of these things, is roughly 0.3 watts of charging power that the, the, the um, solar panels can take out, which is, he says, the equivalent of about 65 milliamps at five volts or about 88 milliamps at 3.7 volts, which is kind of exactly what is written down on the on the repo unit at the back. So he reckons to charge up 24,000 milliamps of this battery completely, you would need 273 hours of full sunshine for literally 24 hours a day. So no nights, you know, and it can't be like a winter afternoon where you only have 20% of what you had at 12 o'clock in the morning. So, or the equivalent 273 hours is roughly a whole month of sunshine. He says that may not be good for the battery uh, and it'll take that long to charge up the battery completely. And it may just be enough for the unit to stop decharging itself. So I read that and I thought, okay, so that means the solar panel is kind of a gimmick, fine, message received. Perhaps that's, you know, if, that's, if, this, if this math is correct, which I, I, I don't know anything about, I must say, then, you know, so be it. But just having it is kind of cool. So since then, I've had this unit for a year and it's been kind of always out and about and uh, yeah we do have strong sunshine here in florida but we're indoors so i'm not putting this on the on the balcony and i don't screencast every day i don't use my gopro every day uh, maybe just once or twice a week so the rest of the time the unit's just sitting here kind of charging itself up and what can i tell you over the last year i have had to charge this thing up three times maybe four times because it's 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 always charged. I mean, I do use it. I don't use it every day, but it seems to be always charged up. That's the only observation I can tell you. Make of this what you will. Either there's so much juice in there that charging it up isn't just necessary, or it is it is the fact that that um, the solar panel does actually do a good job. It just takes a long amount of time. So don't expect your iPhone is completely dead and you give it this 10 minutes in the sun and now I can make a one hour long phone call. It's just not how it works. But uh, if you give it a few days, just gradually charging itself up, a bit like a solar calculator, you're never gonna run out of juice. And I think that's so cool. Um, that's all I wanted to share with you. The Ruipu power bank is available in America from Amazon.com and the Oliber version is available from Amazon Germany. I'm going to link to both in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, then please let me know. Oh, actually, there's one thing I totally forgot to mention in the box that you get. You get, of course, this um, this charging cable, but you get something else which is so cute. And again, when I talked about this, uh, this is the this is the little um, USB charging cable here. So it's white. It's not particularly long. It's about maybe you know maybe this long it's kind of a foot long 30 40 centimeters enough to charge it up but the other thing that comes with this and again i thought at first this is a complete gimmick and i found out otherwise is a fan this it's a very noisy little bag let me just open this up for you i now have two of these as well it's a usb fan and so these blades 
go onto the top here you just squeeze that in until that's there and uh, now this thing is bendable so uh, this is a this this thing is bendable and, and bends into the right position that you want and that just plugs into any of the usb ports here perhaps we use the middle one oh, let's do this and then it cools you Woo is that cool or what and again the button on the side here that'll switch this thing on whoops once of course only and off so that toggles between the on and off so basically once will put this thing into action and once again we'll switch this thing off and then if you press the button twice then the lights go on so the lights are independent of whatever you're charging up on there so switch this thing on then press it twice then the lights come on press it twice again for the lights to go off press it once again to switch off the fan so i again i thought this is a whoops I thought this is a gimmick, uh, but the the other thing that happened during our Hurricane Irma there last year is that we always kept our electricity, which is great, so I never had to use this for anything other than... Oh, I shouldn't stop pressing the button. There we go. Uh, but uh, our air conditioning folded, so we didn't have any air con. And hot summer in Florida without air conditioning, not a good idea. And that's where this puppy really came in handy because at least we could generate a bit of a breeze to um, keep ourselves cooled down. So that's, that's, the, that's kind of the, the whole emergency package right there. And it was, it was a beautiful story and I thought I'd share this with you. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about the Ruipu, then ask me here on YouTube, on my website or on Amazon. I will gladly answer all your questions. If you like this video, then please, of course, share it with friends, family and total strangers. Links to the products are in the description. I will let you go now. Take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next episode.